Um, just to start out, talk to us a little bit about what your priorities are, you know, um, coming here. What are your priorities today and moving forward? Well, our priorities today is to uh, to get the vote out. I mean, people are excited around Virginia, and, you know, people like Tim Kaine are just running around now trying to remind people he's still relevant. And people are just, I mean, I've been addressing crowds of like 200, 300, 10,000 uh, with President Trump, and, uh, you know, it's been exciting. But my priority getting in is securing our border. So, um, there's a debate happening tomorrow. Um, any thoughts on the oh, presidential yes. debate between Kamala and Trump? Oh, my gosh. I think all this uh, hoopla about her, her numbers surging is going to dr drastically change tomorrow. They've already changed their uh, their narrative that, oh, well, you know, they're, they're, they're following the rules of engagement or whatever on, on this debate. But I think President Trump is going to really show show his mastery of all the uh, the talking points. And speaking of debates, um, you have agreed to do one debate against Tim Kaine, your opponent. He's agreed to do four. Why only one? Well, first of all, I don't need more than one to defeat him. But I mean, the, the thing is that he, he came out right away and said, hey, we're going to do this, this, and this. I don't work for the guy, okay? I don't work for Mr. Magoo. I, 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 I do my own thing, and we have to come to agreement. He just thinks everybody works for him. That's, that's the problem with Tim Kaine. He thinks that all of Virginia works for him. It's the opposite. He works for Virginia. Any concerns about getting your name out there, though? Well, I mean, we're, I think after October 2nd, during our debate, everybody's going to know who Hung Kao is, Virginia. Do you guys Cap Captain, they say it's difficult to defeat an incumbent. You have any concern? Tim McCain has been there for a while. Yes, but that's the thing. He's been there for a long time, right? I mean, the guy, he, he did all sorts of things, but no one can remember what he's done for Virginia. The, the guy is kind of, you know, he just kind of rides the coattails and, and pretends to be the nice guy, but the fact is that all of his policies have hurt Virginia. Even as a governor of Virginia, the last year, nobody vote, voted for his bills, including Democrats. That's why he kind of quit and just became the uh, a DNC chair. He, the last year in office, he wasn't even here. He was in D.C. because he's after his own interests. Tim Kaine is not for Virginia. He's out for Tim Kaine. Uh, I was a little uh, shocked to hear your story as a deep sea diver. Yes, sir. Uh, just as a side note, what was that like? It sounds like an incredible experience. Uh, it is, sir. I mean, honestly, I mean, um, it, it, I, I'm always amazed. It's, you know, I'm always dedicated to bringing. Uh, closure to people when we're bringing back a lot of the, the remains of people and uh, uh, you, you know we also do a lot of very secretive things underwater as well. Um, Governor Duncan won statewide office almost three years ago with big help from your county, Loudoun County. Can you talk about how the governor is helping your campaign this year? Well this year we're, we're doing a lot of rallies together and again people keep saying Virginia is blue. It's not blue. In 2021 we won all three statewide seats in Virginia, right? The governor, lieutenant governor, and the, uh, the AG. And then in 22, when I ran, we gained one seat in the uh, uh, House of uh, Representatives. In 23, even though, you know, because of the uh, redistricting and re gerrymandering, look at the n number of Republicans that show up versus uh, the uh, number of Democrats. That's why 2024 is going to be very crucial for us. And so would it be more of a purple state then, would you say? Virginia? Yeah, I think so. I think it's purple, and, and but, you know, more leaning red, because if you go down to the, the furthest reaches of Virginia, like south, uh, uh, Southwest or Hampton Roads, where I spent three tours of duty, people are very patriotic out there. Yeah. And yeah, so, what would you say to, to the voters who may be a little apathetic? We have some voters who seem to have voter fatigue. Uh, say, I'm just tired. I'm not going to go to the vote. What's your to them? Well, sir, again, the, as I said earlier, Arlington National Cemetery is lined up full of men and women who gave their lives for our right to vote. And it's your civic duty to go out and vote. I don't care which side you vote on, honestly. I mean, obviously, I prefer you vote uh, as Republican, but I think it's your duty to vote because those men and women gave their lives for your right to vote. Last question. Okay. Um, with it being, I guess, do you think that the Trump endorsement, with it being more of a purple state, do you think Trump's endorsement will be enough to get you through the general election? Absolutely. So I think President Trump's going to bring out the, the South for us. And I'm, when I say the South, all I'm, I mean, like, Rappahannock County, Fauquier County, and Prince William County on down. Okay? And Northern Virginia, I did so well up there because 
all the immigrants to this country have seen what I've seen. They, they understand that they're kind of turning this country into what we ran away from, and they're not going to stand for it. Can I hear you ask one more? With the Buena Vista Parade, you didn't. You I'm didn't, sorry. With the Buena Vista Parade, you didn't stick around to speak. Why not stick around and speak? I had another event in, in uh, another part of the Commonwealth. We we had 500 people waiting for us, and so that that's the thing. It's like you, yeah. the, the Commonwealth of Virginia is a big place, and t trust me, Tim Kaine would have loved nothing more for me to stick around and talk to the, you know his his uh, constituents. Uh, but you know, I had 500 people waiting for me in in, uh, in another area of Virginia. Thanks for answering that. I appreciate yes. it. Thank anything you else? Anything else you want to talk about? Look, this. I just want to make sure. What an amazing place, right? The United States, where a person like me can come here with nothing and, and be the, the next U.S. Senator to come from Virginia. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.